Splashing through puddles today on Delmarva as the rain pools and soaks everything. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with coastal flooding. The skies opened up today, dumping rain on our roads and creating some treacherous driving conditions. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us just how bad the flooding really is. Cars driving through big puddles. Plants getting drowned by water. And waves crashing closer to the roads. The constant rain leading to lots of flooding along the coast. In Ocean City, you can see puddles of water inching closer to the roads. In Fenwick, backyards and driveways are covered with water. What was once a driveway has now been flooded with water. And while this seems like a rare occurrence, some people in Fenwick say this happens often. Flooding is not new in Fenwick. I mean, the day we moved in here 20 years ago, we drove through a flooded street, flooded intersection. Moving up the coast, walkways are underwater in Bethany Beach, trees and plants fighting for air. Meanwhile, in the Indian River Inlet, the ocean is creeping on the roads. The waves have gotten so close to the dune that it's eroded a lot of what's back there at the foundation of the new bridge. And so there's a lot of debris right now in the surf zone where people are out surfing and it's really hazardous condition. With loads of flooding all across the coast, Richard Robinson says this is something people here should expect. It is a nuisance. It does, it does, it does wreak havoc to your vehicles. I mean, but, but so does the salt air. And living on the coast, it's, it's, a, it's something that, that, uh, that comes with the territory, so to speak. Spring flooding here along the coast? I'm Kevin Zappay with Coast TV News.